compared to a normal platform game, what's different in a VR platform? I think the judging gap between two platforms, because you can judge in 3D, over there needs to come over here very precisely. Yeah, you want to make that. <laughs> It's true that in a platform game, typically on a normal TV game, the camera is one of the most critical parts of those games. If it's a bad camera, it can, can make the game impossible to play. You are the VR, camera. you are the yeah. camera. VR game creation is uh, completely different. We can't use the knowledge of classic game, so we have to find the solution in the level design. On a robot, uh, player doesn't go around too much. Player goes in the straight line. I was really surprised when playing the game where you said, you know, the player goes in a straight line. <laughs> when you play through a level, you feel you've gone up and down and left and right. And it's the way the level is cleverly built around you with like proximity and then far away and then down and up. And you have this experience of all these movements. But actually, physically, you have been moving in the yeah. line. And that's why I think also your, your levels feel good, is because mm -hmm. as, a, as a VR movement, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. A good level is smooth, and the player can focus on the control of the astro. The player can just forget mm -hmm. about the technology mm -hmm. and focus on the magic. Yes, yes. It's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few few moments that I think that are really cool in the game, especially when you get to lean a little bit. And I've seen so many people play when we did demos. When you have a little wall here in uh, one of our city levels, and the player is supposed to lean a little bit to see what's behind the wall, to see the platform and move forward. And what you've done is that you put a couple of enemies behind the wall. Yeah. So the little enemies come from behind the wall, you kill them, and so the first reaction you have is to go and check what was behind the wall, where they came from. You try to make it obvious that, yeah, you can smash into this. You're biting, you're satisfying, yeah, 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 yeah. That kind of interaction, I think, really takes you as the human player right into mm -hmm. that kind of game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't forget, I'm here too. Yeah. I have to make the motivation. What player can see from here? And what do you want to do uh -huh. uh, from here? And I feel like I'm being cool <laughs> and it's <laughs> when the magician behind the scene is doing the work and you just enjoy it. The emotions are just like flowing in a way that is like what I'm seeing right now, what I'm feeling, you're in the zone of happiness, you know, it's the, the, the beauty of uh, good game design, level design, so. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>